I'm completely white con spare marger in here. I love how Novak wants to throw me under the bus on Instagram saying, I heard bands out there not doing too hot. As a matter of fact, I'm doing better than I ever have. And if you want to throw somebody under the bus, I'll throw you under the bus. You do all these speeches all over town telling everybody that you're a pro skater that lost it all. You didn't lose shit because you have to get paid to be a pro skater and you have to have a pro deck with your name on it and you don't have either one of those. So how are you on step number 12 with AA when the first rule is telling the truth? Then on Novak's same Instagram rant about me, he apologizes for being on Viva La Bam and Jack If. Coming from a guy who begged and begged and begged to be on it to the point where he would suck 18 dicks, I made it happen. This motherfucker forgot where he came from, and now that he's helping people, making a money, lot of money doing that, he could be sitting on a park bench with an 80 year old. Hey, old man, when was the last time you had a drink? Hey, I had a white claw like 18 years ago. Oh, 18 years ago? Well, guess what? I talked to your insurance company, they got a bed for you in the rehab, I collected my money, and you're going. But it was 18 years ago. And his speech is as a big sign that says, New York Times best-selling author, Brandon Novak for Dream Seller, written by Joe Franz. And <laughs> New York Times best-selling author, I get 33% of that book, and you can only buy it on Amazon, but nobody cares enough to do the fucking research on that. First person to be sponsored by Gatorade, just because you got a free Gatorade when you're 15 at a demo does not mean you were sponsored by him. You have to have a paycheck to show it. Kind of like how I got a first paycheck from Nike when I was... 16 they gave me 5,000 bucks. I have the paycheck to prove it His whole speech is just white <laughs> Oops